It's crazy to think that anyone would want to come to Hollywood. I'm just a kid from Cali, so what do I know? But I always wondered why a person would want to come to Los Angeles. Yeah, I get it. There's the actors, the fame, the bright lights. I live in a place people want to come, but I don't get it. It's terrible out here. Oftentimes, it feels hopeless. Yeah, Hollywood looks nice on the big screen, but there's a dark side. There's violence on the streets. There's corruption. A lot of empty souls. I found out yesterday an elderly man was stabbed in my neighborhood. Just another day. This place is not what everyone thinks. I never understand why anyone would want to come into such darkness. Well, in 1979, my late husband and I and our two little kids packed up a U-Haul and we headed to California, to Hollywood particularly. And uh, we discovered that the statistic in Hollywood that there were 4,000 runaways on the streets. The gangs in Hollywood became very aggressive and we were even preying on the young teenagers. And then there were hundreds of young ladies being trafficked at that time. So we knew we needed to do something. So the Oasis exists to be a support system and a family to people in Hollywood who need it. I think there's a lot of parents, there's a lot of young people, a lot of kids, teenagers in Hollywood. Um, because of what Hollywood is and how people perceive it, um, these families and these kids, they kind of get overlooked. And so Oasis is a place for those kids, those teenagers, those parents to come to when they need a support system, when they just need to know that somebody cares about them, that somebody cares about their physical needs, but also their spiritual well-being. And so Oasis exists to be that place for people to come and belong, know that they fit in, and know that they have a family. Kids Club is an after-school program on Wednesdays to reach the unchurched kids, those who typically wouldn't enter into a church doorstep. And so what we do is we create a, basically a safe alternative place where they can come get help with some of their schoolwork. We feed them, give them a hot meal. But during that time, we take uh, the opportunity to bring the gospel. I was one of those kids who got reached at that age um, via just an invitation from a friend, going to the kids program, just knowing how people just loved me, accepted me, and just wanted nothing but the best for me. And so with that same concept, we want to continue to do that with reaching kids at a young age, teach them about Jesus, letting them know that they can have a relationship with Him, that He can be there for them, uh, not just spiritually, but just even answering prayers here on earth. Oasis Youth began obviously because as kids get older, <laughs> they turn into teenagers. And so we realized the need for a safe place for teenagers to hang out on Friday nights. The mindset is if we know that they're with us on a Friday night, um, we know that they're safe. We know, that we know that they're surrounded by godly influence. We know that they have food to eat. And so because of that, if we know they're with us and we know that they're safe, um, they're less likely to join gangs. They're less likely to get involved in crime, with drugs, tagging, all this different stuff. And so we provide on Friday nights a fun space for students, for teenagers, to bring their friends and hang out and play sports, play video games, listen to music, and just hang out and receive a free hot meal, receive free dinner, receive free transportation. I would say that one of the things that we see Oasis as in this community is the word family something that we've realized a lot lately. Um, the Lord really put it on our hearts to think of the concept of, we're great at working with the kids, we're great at working with the youth, but how can we help the whole, whole family? And so we started implementing ways to reach the whole family itself. You know, I was one of those kids where I would come hear the gospel, but go home to where my parents are struggling with their addictions and their brokenness. And we basically just said like, we need to find a way where we can reach them. And so we started providing um, different opportunities where we would do that, doing Thanksgiving outreaches. We would go into the homes, deliver them a Thanksgiving meal, but pray with them, uh, doing Christmas outreach, Easter outreach, back to school, just finding ways where we can implement ourselves by reaching the parents and the whole family as a whole. And that's one of the things that I can say that between our kids program and our youth program, a lot of the kids, they say that this feels like a home away from home, that this is my family. This is the people that I can go to for prayer, for guidance, for just advice. And, and that's something that we've been taking strong um, a lot lately. It's just family.